somebody needs to call a doctor ASAP because I am planning on Frankensteining together the Say Love You sweater with the great gingham raglan. Sick in the head, officially. I have blessed myself by not knitting just one Say La Vie, but two Say La Vie sweaters, because to me, the Say La Vie sweater is like the ideal shape. Recently, I received some stunning immaculate yarn from Lamb and Kid, and it is just begging to be knit up as gingham. The spin cycle yarns dyed in the wool, and the colorway of this one is overboard. This right here is the Lamb and Kids stunning little squishy, gorgeous, look at that, halo, Elmer yarn. And this is the color Conversation Pit. <laughs> and these two have me talking. The Say La Vie pattern calls for a DK weight yarn. The Great Gingham Raglan calls for a fingering weight yarn. The yarn from Lamb and Kid is a fingering weight yarn. What do we gotta do to Frankenstein these two patterns together? We gotta do math. We gotta solve for X. We gotta measure our swatches. We just gotta go for it. You're gonna wanna knit a swatch of the yarn that you have with the needles that you prefer to use. Then you'll get to know your tension. You'll get to know how many stitches per centimeter. And then you're gonna compare what the recommended gauge is for the pattern versus the gauge that you got with the yarn that you, that you have. And for me in particular, it was off by like double. In the re pattern recommendation, it says 1.9 stitches per centimeter. My swatch is 3.2 stitches per centimeter. If I were to have 156 stitches, this is 156 stitches, it would result in 82 centimeters. With this yarn, it would result in 44 centimeters. I am bigger than 44 centimeters. Simple enough, right? You just have to cast on more stitches, but there's more. You also have to consider your row gauge because lots of sweater patterns have shaping that correlate with the number of rows you knit them. <laughs> so all of the math that you just did for your stitch gauge, you will also have to do for your rows. This particular sweater has increases across the top of the shoulder to create the shoulder shape with the funnel neck, as well as some increases right here at the shoulder cap. So I'm definitely going to have to make sure that I know what the proper measurement should be. And then I'll have to kind of do some more percentage math backwards from there. Definitely going to have to do a lot more research on how to make sure that my arm's eye and my increases happen at the right frequency to create a nice shape because I am not a pen or designer. I just simply Frankenstein patterns together. But once I have that figured out, I'll let you know. Here's another factor to consider because we are dealing with a repeating color work pattern. We have to consider that the color work repeat is 10 stitches of across. So whatever we do, we have to make sure it is divisible by 10 once we get to the full body as well as the arms. Then once we feel big brand enough, oh, we can cast on. 